I want y'all to know how this earth used to be and how it's going to be pretty soon. Yeah, we doing it, exposing Avatar. Because it definitely was a documentary on how this planet actually used to be and the people. In this land, they found so many new organisms, beings, trees, all types of advanced psychological things happening on this planet. Mainly because they wanted to colonize and obtain resources that would make them rich. Sound familiar? In the movie, there were these beings called the Navi people. Their bodies were so advanced and connected to the earth. And they seemed to have dressed to African clothing. Now the Navi people were very, very tall. And so was nature, all the trees, everything was literally lit. <laughs> There's the same thing about giants on Earth, 8 to 10 feet people living and walking around in the past. Taller than the regular humans. Because who was these steps for? I'm not just making this up. Also in the movie, there were big, tall, giant trees. You know, on Earth, the mountains that look like they cut off trees. Now in this movie, they was willing to do whatever, knocking down sacred trees, doing all types of things that hurt the planet and the Earth and everything that was connected to it. Sound familiar? Now, all around the planet, there are these tall people on the walls, and they call them gods and giants and all types of things. What if all of these advanced beings who are called gods in different religions were just highly advanced beings in the past? And in the past, these people who are seeing them call them gods. I mean, who knows what our DNA is capable of? So these humans want what these highly intelligent beings have. So they invaded and took advantage of the peace that we had, aka Native Americans, Africans, Egyptians, all that. Same thing that they did to the Navi people in the movie. So much bad, sad, negative things happening on this planet to where it can't even be its full potential because it's trying to clean itself up. Prime example while we're alive, we take so much resources from the earth. And then when we die, we put ourselves in coffins, unaccessed to the earth or the soil. In the movie Avatar, they literally bury their bodies to give back to the earth, but we don't even do that. Let's really try to understand what this movie meant and what we're capable of. Always stay dangerous. You see, this life is very fascinating. This life is very fascinating, you know. When it comes to the idea of aliens and things like that, I already explained in previous videos that scientists have already claimed and proven, or not, or claimed that there's other planets out there that is similar to Earth and is habitable and is most likely it's it's able it's 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 able to be habitable, you know. You know things like that you know they they've they've seen you know or they claim that there's other planets out there where it's possible to have life on it things like that but the thing is it's so far away to where even if that was the case we we won't be able to get there because it's so damn far away you know shit like that like you know light years away and shit like that you know um but it's very fascinating when it comes to the to the discussion of aliens, you know, because a lot of people think we're the only motherfuckers out there. I mean, think about this Earth, you know, it's already been proven, proven that there's galaxies and other planets and stars out there, shit like that. You think we're the only people here. You think we're the only out of this vast universe. We're the only people on it. That kind of sounds foolish. And then when you get into the culture of Egyptians that shit is just like is like opening up a can of worms with the little hieroglyphics and shit like that where you know it's showing all these different weird ass shit on the wall and shit you know it's like could that have been extra terrestrial life i don't know just a theory just a theory i'm not saying that it is or is not i don't fucking know <laughs> This is very fascinating, but I, but I I do think most likely aliens do exist, because I mean you can't you can't tell me we're the only motherfuckers out there, man. I mean we're the only motherfuckers in this vast universe. You know, sell sell a sell a kid of bullshit. Uh. <sighs> and at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you a guy who is explaining why alien why is uh. Why are the existence, existence of aliens not being revealed? And th this guy in the clip is going to explain it. It's, um, he, you know, if aliens were proven to not exist, I mean, to exist, all religion will go out the window. So no one, no one will be able to be controlled by religion because, with, because the proof of aliens will counter will uh go against what the bible saying 
you know, so people will lose their faith. And that means no one will be able to be able to be controlled by the religion. A lot of shit that this guy's going to mention in the clip. That's very fascinating. The fact that we live in a universe that we don't know shit about. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. Yo, yo. We live in a universe that we don't know shit about. Like, we just on this bitch. We don't know shit about nothing. Anything. That's fucking crazy, man. Damn. I would like to know if alien. You know, I would like to see some aliens and see how they fucking look like and shit. That would be fucking dope as fuck. You know what I'm saying? You know? Um... Yeah, man. Shit. If aliens exist, bro, and they live in civilizations that's better than Earth, shit. Take me with y'all motherfuckers. Just don't do no fucking, you know, experiments on me and shit like that. But, like, if aliens was to exist, I would prefer to be around some, like, you know, uh, humanoid aliens. Like, like, aliens that look like humans to a certain degree. Like, yeah... They they uh they look, they look like aliens, but they look like humans a little bit. Cause I don't want I don't want to be around a no fucking monster looking motherfuckers. But like if they look like us a little bit, but just have you know like they like you know like the avatar, like that girl said blue skin and shit like that. I could probably fuck with that shit, bro. <laughs> you know. Yeah, man. But I don't know, bro. Fuck, fuck, so yeah, fuck humans, man. Fuck humans, man. I, I'm pretty sure. Hopefully, aliens are more peaceful. You know, they got advanced technology. I'm pretty sure ain't no aliens. That, they ain't fucking. There's no money. There, there's no nine to five. No nine to fives over there on other planets. No going to work for forty hours a week. Man, I, I bet you. I bet you they don't got a fucking nine to fives. Shit, man. <laughs> That's fucking crazy, man. That nine to fives is literally my biggest problem. Like, bro, nine to five. Is my biggest problem in life. Like, if I was to just take that out the fucking equation, I'll actually have a good life. It's that's the main thing that's fucking me up is the going to work every fucking day, man. Shit, I bet you aliens don't got no fucking nine to five clocking in. You know, listen to John or fucking Susie, Susie Catherine. Hey, you came in late today, man. I mean, I bet you don't got no fucking nine to five, man. Shit, man, I would love to go t- hey, take me with you. Take me with you. I'm being dead ass. I'll fucking go, dude. Fuck, fuck this fucking plan. I'll, I'll take my ass with them motherfuckers, man. I'm being dead ass. I'm, bro, I'm being so fucking... Shit. I'm being so fucking serious, bro. Like, shit. Fuck out of here, man. Bull fucking shit, man. Gotta work all fucking day, man. Fuck this shit. Bull fucking shit, man. But I, but 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 I wonder how the public would react to aliens being proven existing, because there's not necessarily any definite proof of it. It's just theories, you know. Um. But where did these theories come from? How did the idea of aliens even get into our mind? Is it because they existed? That is it because we had contact with them at one point. That's why we got, you know, images and you know, and and that's that's where the idea of it came from. Because where the fuck does a person say there's aliens out there and out in, in out there? How the fuck did that even? How the, who who got that idea? Who just randomly said, oh, there's other things out there? You know, is it due to the fact that we in, uh, invented telescopes and we went to the moon and shit like that? Went to the moon. And we find out there's other planets. And then someone said, oh, shit, there could be something else out there. Who knows? But alien is an interesting, interesting uh, thing to think about. You know, I would like to know if they exist or not, you know. But until that day comes, let's not focus on the existence of aliens. Let's focus on get, getting the fuck out these nine to fives, you know, getting rich so we can escape the rat race. And shit like that. But, you know, on my spare time, I might, you know, watch little videos about aliens and stuff like that. Because it's kind of fascinating. But that's all I want to say. I'm out. Um, you talked about uh, aliens yesterday and about this whole, you know, uh, theory. Um, what's the motive that, that 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 information would be released? I thought that was like a secret. Like, what's the motive and, you know, who who benefits from that? 
well, being released? Yeah, it is good. It's a good question, Tim, because all you have to do is ask yourself, uh, follow the money, follow the money, follow who's making money on anything. And that answers all your questions. So think about this way. One of the first reasons why this knowledge has not been released is because if it was released, who would lose money? Always think about that first. There's two questions. Who would lose money and who would make money? Another way of saying it is who would lose power, influence, and control? So if the governments around the world announced, yes, aliens from other planets are physically on the Earth, yes, we as a human species was actually created by DNA modification of our ancestors uh, eons ago, by extraterrestrials, how would that affect the power base of religions around the world? That would put into question the Bible, Genesis. It would put into question all the religious books. It would put into, into question all the religious leaders. And, the, and the, the, the consensus is overnight, churchgoers would trickle down to some minute amount, and revenue into the churches would radically be affected, and the influence that the church has would potentially be wiped out. It could also radically change nationalist or nationalism feelings in countries like Russia or China or Japan or the United States and change things to a more global feeling of we are being earthlings as opposed to being Americans or Japanese or Chinese or Russians or Germans or uh, Iranians, etc. So that's the reason why it hasn't been released. But it's inevitable that that knowledge is going to come out. So therefore, the way things happen is you slowly get people um, used to or comfortable with something before it's announced. So that's why over the last 15 years, you keep seeing more and more things on aliens. And that's why you have the television show V. And this is why Ancient Aliens as a series started last year and a new series is this year. It's getting us used to the idea, feeling comfortable about the idea, and not feeling nervous or scared about the idea. So when it is announced, the impact won't be as dramatic. That's the reason why this data is being suggested or slowly leaked out. And now more so in the mainstream media. Think about this. 15 years ago, on a major cable station, History, the History Channel. Think about it. It's called the History Channel. It's not called the Crazy Idea Conspiracy Theory Channel. It's called the History Channel, and they have a produced show called Ancient Aliens. I mean, isn't that telling? I mean, it's, 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 it's something to think about, right, Tim? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but like, why would they release it though? What, what's what's the reason they would release that secret? You mean why is the um, acknowledgement that aliens are here and had visited the the planet years ago to help with the premieres? Why is that going to be released? Yeah, like they kept that secret for you know a long, long time. Like, what, why why now to release it? The, the, the reason is the aliens are going to announce themselves anyway. That, that We don't have a choice. That information is coming. As our development has risen to a certain level, the first level being atomic uh, nuclear capabilities, now we're at the point where we are going to be exposed to the truth about our origins and the universe. Interesting. All right. Thank you for taking my call, Kevin, and I'll see you on the cruise.